Hello and welcome back to Black Mist Gaming. It's me again, more tasty guy, more commonly known as Cam. Playing Minecraft today, starting a brand new world, a tutorial world, so I can show you guys some of my skills. I'm kidding, I don't have any skills. Um, so, here I am, in this beautiful world. I haven't got any custom texture packs on at the moment, but my computer crashed a couple of weeks ago and delete all my stuff so I have to start again uh, this is my spawn point here spawn points always next to water don't understand why but it is uh, this is where I'll respawn if I die I can res I can reset I oh, can't even talk properly I can reset my spawn point um, if I sleep in a bed but I don't have a bed at the moment the whole point of the game is to just destroy and place blocks. This is a dirt block, so I can put it back anywhere I want and pick it up again and put it back anywhere I want. Uh, another thing you can do in the game is just collect materials like wood here. I can take a block of wood and I can make stuff with it. So, to pick up a block or destroy it, you just hold in left click hovering over the block and it will destroy it to pick it up you just go and stand next to it okay I'm gonna take out this whole tree and then I'll make some stuff the reason you need to make tools in this game is because when it turns to night then monsters come out and they try and kill you I'll just pick this up as well uh, you can see the sun is nearly halfway in the sky. It's nearly at midday. By the time it reaches the horizon there, it will be night. And then monsters will start spawning and I'll be screwed. So I'm just going to pick up this tree as well. And then I'll be on my way. Wood is the most valuable material in this game. Well, it's the most useful anyway. You need it in almost everything. You make chests with it, you make tools with it, you make doors with it, you can use it as a flooring, you use it for everything really. And first thing, I'm going to press E here to access my inventory. That is my guy, it's a custom skin I made. Uh, I know he looks a bit like Hitler, that wasn't intended. So these are my armor slots here. I make armor and put them in there. Uh, this is my hot bar down here. If you press E again, it's the one you can see from the main screen. And this is my main inventory. I can put things anywhere I want in here. So I'm going to take my oak wood and I'm going to put it up here in the square. This is a crafting. You put things in here and it makes them into things which you pick up from here. You put just oak wood planks, no, just oak wood boards in here you'll get planks out. So shift click that to get them all. And there we go, I've got planks. Now I'm going to take four of these and place them around here. You just right click in all the squares. And there we go, we've got our first proper tool. It's a crafting table. So I pick that up, put that in my slot, take my panels back, and I'm going to put it down put down my crafting table right now I'm gonna right click on it that accesses it this is just the same as the crafting in my inventory except it's a lot bigger so I'm gonna take oak wood planks put one over the other and make some sticks I get four sticks from two planks now I'm gonna make a pickaxe so I can mine rock there are four levels of materials for tools. No, five. Five levels. The first level is wood, and that's what I'm going to make just now. So I put two sticks, and then three planks over the top, and that makes a, a pickaxe. The next level is stone, and that's what I'm going to mine next. Then after that it's iron, and then gold, and then finally diamond. Gold and diamond are very rare. when you're crafting you usually put the items in the shape of the thing you want to make see it resembles a pickaxe 
and if you wanted to make a hoe, you just take that away. If you wanted to make an axe, you put it there. See, there are lots of different tools that you can make. But I'm just going to take a wooden pickaxe for the moment. Put it in my slot. And then I'm going to go in mine. I'll pick up my crafting table as well. Take that with me. And take these saplings. And an, oh, an apple. In this game, you have a hunger bar, which is the bar just above your hot bar, the little chicken drumsticks. If that goes down to zero, then you start to die of starvation, and you don't want that to happen. So, I'm just going to go and find some rock. Rock is just this simple grey material here. This is stone. Yeah. You get lots of different materials, but this is the one that I need at the moment. So I'm just going to left click and hold it in and pick up stone. When you mine ordinary stone, or smooth stone as it's sometimes known, you get this thing called cobblestone. You don't get smooth stone, you just get cobblestone. And it looks completely different. It takes the same amount of time to mine as normal stone but it just looks different okay if you want normal stone then you have to make a furnace I'm not going to make a furnace at the moment I'll probably make one at the end of this episode and a furnace is used to cook things anyway I was talking about food this is an apple it's food and yeah you eat it how much simpler could it get? You eat it to keep your hunger bar up. Right. I'm just going to dig this a little further back. When you're trying to survive in this game, there are three things you need at the very start. One is food. I have a small amount of food. So, tick. That's that one ticked off. The second one is shelter. Now, at the very start of the game, you're not going to go about building huge mansions and castles. The first night, you just want a hole in a cliff, or a little thing made up in a tree, or something like that, until you get enough materials to go and build yourself a proper house. I've decided that I'm going to make this little valley my home, and I'm going to live in this cave. The third thing that you need is light. Zombies and creepers and other enemies spawn in the dark so if there's no dark in your house they can't spawn in your house. So the next thing I need is some coal. Coal is to make torches and other things and it's not rare at all. It's, you find it quite a lot. So I'm just going to run along the cliffs here and try and see some. Coal just looks like stone, except with little black bits in it. I just destroy this, and then climb up. Ah, cows. Cows, you get beef from if you kill them, and leather, which can be used to make armour. Right, um, I'm just going to... Oh, a flower. How lovely. I'll get some flowers to decorate my house. Uh, you're just looking for coal in the sides of the cliffs here. Uh, it's getting dark already. I'm just hoping I'm not going to have to spend a night in the dark. Okay, right. Now I'm going to make a stone pickaxe, which is better. Oh, nearly crashed there. So just take my two sticks over the top, exactly the same as the wooden one, except with cobblestone, and that makes a stone pickaxe. That's more powerful. To mine better materials like iron and coal, you need a better pickaxe. Okay, it's dark already. This is not good. Oh, no. Right, I'm just going to have one more quick look around here, see if I can find some. And if I can't, I'm going to run back before I get eaten. There are many types of monsters in this game, 
Uh, the most dangerous are creepers. They look like giant green penises. And they walk up to you and explode. Oh no. Okay. I think it's pretty safe to say I'm not going to find any coal tonight. Unless I get very lucky. Okay, it's not really happening for me. So... Oh look, it's a skeleton. Up there. One up there and one up there. Okay. I think I'm just going to head back and wait till morning. Uh, okay. Into Winter Spider. Don't know. I don't know why I'm singing that. Okay, to sprint, you just double click W. Where am I? Oh no, I'm not lost, am I? No, no, it's okay, it's over here. I'm just going to run back to my little hole and spend the night there. And hope I don't run into any creepers or zombies on the way back. Okay. Du -du 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 -du. Right, this hasn't been the best tutorial showing you how to survive your first night. But I've done it so far. Just need to make it back to my house. Ah. Uh, See, you take full damage if you fall too far, so make sure you don't. My house is just along here. I'm just going to go in, block up the entrance. Oh, no, I found coal. I have found coal. Repeat, coal has been found. See, just up there, I saw a little grip of it. Um, up there next to that zombie I'm sure it was up here where's it gone? there was definitely some coal up here Oh, oh no, go, die, die. Uh, right, okay. I've officially lost the coal. No, no, I haven't found it. Here it is. Here's the coal. Okay, oh my god. Oh my god. Jesus. I got shot by a skeleton there. Bastard. Don't you dare. Piss off. Come on. Go bully someone else. Okay, I should be fine now. So I'm just going to pick up this coal. There's normally quite a lot of it in one place. Whew. Actually, it's not advisable to go back down to where my other house was. So I've decided I'm just going to make this my house. Just pick up the last bits of the coal. And then make a torch. Oh my god. Okay, let's just make the torch now. So, get out of my crafting table, go into it, make some more sticks, like I showed you earlier. And then, to make torches, simple. One coal over one stick makes four torches. Let's make a lot. Right, I've got 16 torches, and I'm now just going to light up the place. Whew, well, this has been an interesting tutorial. I'll just mine out the rest of the coal while I talk. Um, so, the three things you need. Food, fire, and shelter. If you've got those three, you can easily survive the first night. And, yeah. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And there will be more coming, so look out for them. Right, this is Mortez the Guy, signing off. Bye.